Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to talk to you about how to add a bibliography entry and how to mark a citation. So first of all, I'm on the reference tab and I've got a document on the screen and I just want to create an entry. So you've got this option here, citations and bibliography. And then this is a different feature, which I'll show you in a second table of authorities. So first of all, you've got insert citation. So I've got my cursor next to the word access and you've got options here, add new, put a placeholder there so you can do it later on. But I'm, I'm going to go add new so we can do a new one. And let's say that this is a report and I will be the author. And then you've got this information to fill in. So access in UK say and let's go 2023 and uh, publisher is ASOS put a T on the end of it so it's no company and we'll put Newcastle now, you don't have to fill all of this in um, but it just makes sense to do as much as you can click OK to that and then it puts the reference in the document like so now, if you click on this reference, you can actually drop this arrow down and edit it. So I can edit the citation and I can tick other things on or tick things off. So at the moment, that's got most things on there. If I put page one, let's see what happens there. It just puts page one, that just makes it a little bit bigger. So I'll take that off, knock that. Don't want too much information there, but you've got a little drop down where you can go back into the source and change some of this information click OK to that or convert to static text so that's what you can do there so that's inserting a citation as I was going but I've also got citations in here so if I go insert you can see the one I've just done there and then I've got this one so if I click there that's what I did earlier and then insert that first one it's, it sticks it in there like so so these are entries that you've either created or you've got from a previous session. You've got different styles that you can use. Now, quite often you get more styles than this, but these are the two that I've got. And then you've got this Manage Sources. If I click on Manage Sources, you've got the preloaded references that I've already done. So you can see that some of these are already there. And you can either delete these or edit these or create a new one. You've got the sort option there by author, by tag, by title, by year. If you want, if you've got loads, you can search for these. Now to add the actual entry, the bibliography entries, what you need to do is get where you want it to appear in your document. So if I just get rid of this for a minute, um, in fact, I'll just give myself a space, a, a blank page. So I've got a blank page there. So if I put the bibliography there, if I click on it, you get different styles. So if I go for this one, whatever I've put in this document is now listed in the bibliography. So that's how you create that. Normally that would be at the end of the document. This is not at the end of the document, but I've just used the blank page to put that in there. Now, citations is slightly different. If I go back into the documents, what you've got here is mark citation. So you're going through a document and then you're selecting text and you're marking it similar to what you would do if you was marking an index en uh, entry, same sort of thing. So you click on mark citation and then this box comes up and this box just floats over the text. So I'm just scrolling up back up to the top. And then for example, if I select queries and then click into this box to make it active I can then mark that so if I click on mark then as soon as I do that all of this does the show hide so that's this feature if I go to home that that comes on you can knock it off but it comes on by default as soon as you mark an entry in citations or it does the same in mark entry for an index as well so next citation I want, let's select a different option. So I'll go for statutes and then um, 
I'll just double click on this and then mark so it's just marked that and you basically go through if I double click on macros next citation um, if I go and select something else other authorities let's scroll back up um, let's do primary key and click in there mark and let's do that's primary key what can we do linking tables double click on that I mean I'm just clicking on some random phrases here click into this box to make it active and you can see it's highlighted that select what you want it to be go back to cases and then mark now this next citation that I clicked on before just basically takes you to the, the next citation that you've already done but I've just marked a few now so I've just close this and then I get myself I'll take the show hide off and then I'll get myself to the um, I'll just put it here actually again it would be at the bottom of the document but if I go back to references this becomes a, a table of authorities so table of authorities and then you've got all so if you just did cases you could just select on that but I'll, I'll click on all and then they should all drop in there each of the types that I did and it's bringing them in and then underneath that if you want so if I give myself a new page again so I'm totally messing this document up so that's gone onto a new page and then I could put the bibliography in there as well just to do both so that's how you can create those but first of all you need to enter these bibliography entries and then you need to mark these citations if you want this to appear in your document you can see the page references on the citations that's where they are and that's where you marked it and that's where it's putting it at the bottom of the document so this is just a very quick video on how to um, insert citations or create citations so you come up in a bibliography and also how you can mark citations so they appear in a table of authorities so hopefully this video is okay for you thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one